Before last Friday's loss to Venice, Brayton River had not suffered a regular season defeat in nearly three years, but another loss to 6-1 District Mate Palmetto, and they are all but out of the postseason this year. Ben Bobick has the breakdown of our Gulf Coast Honda Dealers Game of the Week. Any, any losses moving forward, you know, in, in the season for us as far as playoffs are concerned, so playoffs have started. That's the mentality at Braden River after their 26-game win streak in the regular season came to a close last week at the hands of the Venice Indians. But next up, the 6-1 Palmetto Tigers. We're expecting, you know, all that they that, that they can bring, and uh, you know, our kids understand that they're going to have to match that intensity if they want to become champions. The Pirates will have to bring the offense if they want a shot at a championship. Palmetto has posted three straight shutouts. In fact, the last time they gave up any points, it was only seven on September 16th to Sarasota. We're kind of just going to kind of take what they give us. We know we have a lot of confidence in our offensive line, both in the run game and the pass game. Um, so we'll kind of we'll kind of just trust our game plan. And we have a good, strong running game with Deshaun and uh, Raymond back there. And then the line, they do a good job holding their blocks and uh, getting them through the hole. So. The Brain River defense will also have their hands full with Palmetto QB Jason Spicer who's been looking much more comfortable at the quarterback position since switching over from receiver. He's, uh, he's good in the pocket, but he's even better when he gets outside. So we got to make sure uh, you know, we're disciplined in our pass rush and make sure we're not running past the quarterback and giving him easy ways to get out of the pocket where he can hurt us. It's do or die for the Pirates. As for Palmetto, it's not only a chance to extend their season, but an opportunity to prove they are for real. No, we know they're going to come in, you know, poised and, and hungry and, and confident. And, uh, you know, but then again, our kids as well have been there and done that. Reporting for our Game of the Week, Ben Bobick, SNN, the Suncoast News Network.